Now that we've had some experience with sets, um, we need to learn some notation. And then we also need to learn how these things um, interact with each other. So hopefully, as we were going through the building the set of real numbers, you notice things like every single one of the natural numbers, so I'll put an N for natural numbers, was inside the set of whole numbers. The natural numbers was a smaller part of the whole numbers. This is very interesting because this is actually what a subset is. So let's go through these notations and we'll talk about each one of them. Here we have an equal sign. Now equal truly means equal. It means that they are the exact same in every way. So whenever you say that two sets equal each other, that means that every one of the elements in set A are also elements in set B and vice versa. That they are have the exact same things in them. Now here we have notation. This means subset. So this one says A is a subset of B. That means that all the elements that are in set A are also elements in set B. But now look at the difference here between these two. This one has an equal to sign. This one does not. This is actually called a proper subset. We'll make a little arrow there. When it means that truly it is a smaller portion. You know whenever you were learning about less than or less than or equal to? We could say um, that 5 is less than or equal to 5, couldn't we? Because we have the condition of or equal to. We cannot say that 5 is less than 5 because that doesn't make any sense. You can think about this notation the exact same way. When we talk about things being a subset or equal to, it could be a smaller part of B or it could be equal to B and this would still be true. However, if we do not have an equal sign there, then this means truly A is a smaller part of B. So whatever B is, A has to be just part of that. We also have this notation. And it could be this circle with a line through it, or it could be empty braces. And that literally means the empty set, a set that has no elements. And also we have a, um, a little bit of an interesting fact here, that the empty set is a subset of every set. So I use my notation there, subset, of every set. Here we have notation for element. And any time that you have a line through something, that means not. Like, you know, you see no smoking signs or, you know, no walking on the grass. They always have that slash through them. So this E means 5 is an element of A. That means that 5 was one of those items inside the set A. If we have 5 and then the E with the slash through it, that means 5 is not an element of A. It's not one of those items in there. Now, we're going to work some um, problems so you can see how this all works, and we're not going to get through all of them in this one. We'll have to pick it up in the next one. But here we're going to have some sets of items that they've um, identified for us. A is this set, B is 345, C is 543, and D is 3456. We're going to tell whether these statements are true or false. So this one says B is a subset or equal to A. So that means B should be smaller or the same as A. Is B a smaller portion of A? Well, yes it is because look, here's B and here's the B that is inside of A. B is a smaller part of A. So that is actually true. This one says, let me erase that off so we don't look at that anymore. Uh, part B says D is a subset or a smaller portion or equal to A. So here is D, 3, 4, 5, 6. Is D a smaller portion of A? Well, no, because there's something in D that's not in here. So that's false.